trade organization. America accuses China of subsidizing its aluminium industry and says that it's destroying jobs and companies on both sides of the Atlantic. China denies that it has broken any rules. Joe Lynham reports. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. The new president could not have been clearer that he would protect jobs lost to global competition. One of his first tests could be aluminium. In the 15 years since China joined the WTO, it's gone from producing 10% to more than 50% of global aluminium. At the same time, the US has gone from having 23 active smelters to just six. And with the closures have come job losses. I believe China's still in our jobs, no doubt. According to the China Task Force, Chinese aluminium output has doubled since 2010 and that has dramatically pushed down global prices, forcing out many European and American producers. They've taken very cheap finance. They've provided below interest loans to these companies. They've forgiven debts. When these companies get into trouble, you might have heard the term zombie companies. They've propped up these companies and allowed them to continue to produce production, which is uneconomic. We're not looking to protect anything. We seek a fairly traded market under WTO rules. In a statement to the BBC, the Chinese government said China's aluminium industry is based on meeting domestic demand and has become highly competitive and market oriented. The development of China's aluminium industry has promoted the development of the global aluminium industry. And as for the WTO, it says there's little it can do to bring about rapid change. It is uh, the members who monitor the situation themselves they talk to each other, they express their concerns to each other, and they even propose uh, ways of handling the situation themselves. The WTO is just a forum. We offer them a place for the conversations and we try to facilitate the conversation. But the conversation is not between the WTO and the members, it is among members. Taking a case to the WTO is a time-consuming business. Just ask Boeing or Airbus. It could take five or more years to get a final decision, by which point producers on both sides of the Atlantic could be out of business. Joe Lynham, BBC News.